Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to go over a couple things here. This is the stock of the <laughs> – folks, I'm a bit tired. Uh, I, I enjoy doing – I'm especially enjoying doing this to help Dave out. But uh, I uh, – it, it just the hours are long now because we're having such incredible moves with ABCDs and stuff. So – you got to dance with the girl you took to the dance because she might leave early and then you're out there on your own because sometimes these ABCD patterns don't work. I posted a chart here of the E-mini S&P, and we've been following this every day just like we usually do. And you can see the, the high today, if you look at it, we suggested it might get to 40.30 in the newsletter. Anything above that, it's you know you know flat off to the races. But Stop and think now. If you look at that bottom we made just about uh, you know eight trading days ago, we're up eight days in a trading cycle. Now, uh, Larry Williams did all kinds of work on this. Uh, he charged uh, oh, it was a huge amount, thousands of dollars way back in uh, mid 70s when I was at Drexel. And Drexel gave me when I went to work for them. I said I'd like to have an educational thing. He said, Don't worry. He said, Whatever you want, we'll pay for it. Of course. They took it out of my commissions, but uh, it was uh, it was well worth it. But the thing that Larry told us at that time was, you know, the statistics behind the market. In other words, it goes up three days in a row. What's the statistic that will be up the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, the seventh day, and the eighth day? He said the eighth day was the most important because if it went past eight days, you didn't know where it was going to go. So you want to be expecting after eight days a either a pretty significant bounce or, you know, uh, a rally in a bear market. So that's what I'm looking at. So today you're looking at the, the – today it's the eighth day, and there it is sitting right there at the 786 at 4030. So it's, it looks like it might be a place to uh, take a look at it. So that's that's what I was watching today. I uh, I don't get to talk to Larry much anymore. I, we he chat by email, of course, but uh, he does so much traveling now for personal use. He's not does he's not doing any more speeches or anything like that. But he uh, he really uh, enjoys fishing and stuff up in Montana. But boy, those things that he told me, yeah, that's just one of the seminars that I went to with him. There were many others that uh, when he first coming out, you know, with the Williams indicator was one, and then his uh, uh, displaced moving averages. He actually got that from my best friend, Jay Cross, who worked with Amos Hostetter at Commodity Corporation. So he, he had a lot of great things. And, and Larry and, and Jay were friends too. So it was, uh, he was part of that Conti group, you know, going back uh, into the 19, they started in 1968 there at Conti. The uh, office was at, uh, corner of Wilshire, Wilshire Boulevard, and oh, I can't remember the cross street. goes right into UCLA. Anyway, there was an office there for Clayton Brokerage, and that's where I met Eddie Horowitz and Jim Twentyman uh, and Larry Williams in 1965. They were all trading through there. And then what happened was when Conti Commodity came in, they bought that office and all the customers and moved them over to the McCulloch Oil Building, which was right across the street. They had been in the, Hughes, the Howard Hughes Building. In fact, when John Wayne passed away, uh, the helicopter came in from Orange County and landed on the uh, Howard Hughes uh, Building, and they took Mr. Uh, Wayne into the uh, you know the UCLA where he, he passed away about a day or so later. But we were watching. It was a big deal. It was not as big as the deal as the OJ chase, but it was a it was a big deal to watch the. You know the old cowboy. You know, take his last uh, last steps in here. Anyway, let's. That's what really happened here. But I was wanted to tell tell you about what Larry did because there was a lot of things there that were just really, you know, really spectacular. Now here's something that I think we should all watch. Okay. Now this happens to be uh, Citicorp. When we get finished with Citicorp, we're definitely going to take a look at the natural gas. I promise it that we would do that, and we'll do it very. Uh, Efficient, well, as efficiently as I know, but you can see where we were just a few weeks ago, a month or so ago, way up here, and how much it's dropped. Okay, now that's a that's a very very big drop, but you stop and think, folks. Citibank is not a very well run bank. It really isn't, and the reason why is if you go back and look at the charts, 
for it. Oh, are you kidding me? Where are all my bank stocks? Oh, well, I guess that's something that I deleted by accident. Boy, that doesn't make me very happy. Okay, let's not worry about that. Anyway, so look at that on a day. You know what? I've got a charting thing right here. I think I can do that real easy. So bear with me here, and I will get this up, and we will take a look at this. Four commodity. Uh, uh, there it is right there, and all we have to do is get the daily up, and you'll be able to see that this market told you that something was wrong. Hello, operator. This is <laughs> just look at it during the past year, folks. And remember, this thing split. This was a reverse split. Oh, dear, it's not coming up yet. Hold on. It, it'll be there in just a second here. There it is right here. And you can see it right there. This thing split uh, 10 for 1, reverse split. No, was it 30 to 1? I don't know, but back in, in 08, uh, I think it had a 31 reverse, 30 to 1 reverse split. I, I'd have to, I don't follow that, but that's going back many years ago. In the 08 crash, they had all kinds of trouble, and then they split the stock so that they, the, the reverse split makes the stock higher. In other words, they reverse it 10 to 1. It's trading at the $3, so they reverse it so the price goes up to $30. So you got <laughs> more shares, but the problem is, is that it, uh, they're all diluted. And so now, look where we are now. This is not this is not a well-run company. Just just recently, we just made a 382 ABCD Gardley here, in uh, you know just about a month or so ago. And now we're we're breaking down. Bank of America has gone below those. Now you want to see how they rally, because if they don't rally much, and if they don't rally much, that's where the problems lie. And you don't want to get involved in that because you don't know where the bottom is down in here. How about this bottom here? Same pattern. You see the little Gartley pattern right there? And then boom. Look what happened when you broke the mid part at point C. Look what happened when you broke point C. This tells you this stock wants to go lower. So I don't believe that this banking stock index thing is, is over. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. The only thing that would change my mind is if they come in and all these stocks gap up huge and just keep running, then I'll say, yeah, well, not today where they up 4 or 5%. I'm talking if they jump up 10%. Or something like that. That takes all the, the heat off. And that means somebody's got to be paying the bills here. And the only way they can do it is create money. And that's what the Federal Reserve is doing. And what does creating money do? It drives inflation. So get ready for spending more for all the stuff that you're going to be buying. Because, you know, you can see, look at the grains. They've been down for months. Maybe this is the major bottom in the grains. We don't know that. But it started in the right direction anyway, if nothing else. So that's an important fact to keep in mind. Uh, we got a break coming up here uh, just a, in about another uh, minute or so. But when we come back, we're going to look at the uh, natural gas market uh, in both long term and short term to see if there's a place here or a pattern that we might be able to take advantage of. So that's what we're going to try to do when we come back from the first break. Now, if you were lucky enough to call through right now, don't even try because the lines are just jammed. Uh, Al's sitting there, and he's just, the sweat's coming off his brow. He's trying to, you know, put it, people in order to get the winning ticket to see who answers the phone. 877-927-6648. Oh, one line just opened up. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, let's get to work and try to find a place to buy natural gas. I posted the long-term weekly chart up in here, and I've had this been working for a very, very long time. And if you'll notice here that we have these cycles on the bottom, that's just a nominal cycle. What that means is from the low to the high took X number of days. So if you think in the words of, you know, W.D. Gann, what repeats one way repeats the other way, you can see from the high to the low ends up, hello, operator. This is not an April Fool's joke this week. So we got to watch for a possible bottom in natural gas this week. You can see the beautiful ABCD pattern that came down. In fact, we had this trade. We were on it. We were in that trade a long time. It was about an hour. But we bought it at uh, uh, 287 and we were out at 286. And of course, it dropped a great deal more than that. And when these patterns fail, yeah, you got to know that because you don't want to stand in front of that freight train. No way, no how. You don't want to do that. So I'm analyzing this. That's the first thing I want to look at to see that, yes, there's a possible day in here. I don't have a really good ABCD. The only way I can do this is to measure the AB leg and then assume where it's going to be down here, where I think we're going to make a double bottom and find out if that's a ratio more than 1.618 because it certainly looks like it might be. But remember, the first thing we're looking for is price. The time is most elusive, so we think it's going to be April 1st, but we don't know that. You know what? Nobody else does either, so that's a real advantage uh, on our part. So the second step that I'll do is I go and I look at the daily chart just to see what's happened here you know, over the last few uh, weeks or months to see you know, how well the market has held up. I'll get this up here so we can see it together. Okay, now there it is. You can see we had a nice run. Now look, you see the bottom right here? Watch this, folks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the eighth day, what happened? The market topped. Come down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then it rallies up to the 382. Comes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, right here. Right out of Larry Williams' $10,000 seminar. Made covered my cost on that on the second day of trades that I did. But anyway, you'll see here that we're getting low. We have a big ABCD coming in right here, don't we? So the next thing we want to do and try to be uh, pretty creative on this is we're going to go and we're going to take a look at what's happening 
on the uh, hourly chart, okay? Let's do it, let's say the four hour chart. So here's where we are. We'll get up here. Remember, we have a big ABCD coming in. It's not going to be on this chart, but you just saw it on the daily. tells us that we're getting really close to a double bottom in here. Do you remember that? This is the ABCD that we had on the – remember, the, there was your AB. There was your 382 retracement. See, you're down eight days, 382 retracement. Now you're coming down, and you're going to be more than eight days, which you can see here. What we're trying to do is to get down into this area right here because this could be a, this could be a monster. Because the whole world is buried this stuff. Even Johnny still raising his hands. Yeah, it looks lower to him. But look what's happening. You see, we have it looks like it's a bottom here, and you have a big down day today. So what's going to happen next? Well, what you do is you've got to analyze this part right here to see if it's got anything in it that would tell us that possibly, yes, this may be a bottom coming into natural gas. And by doing this show, guess who's going to be buying natural gas? very very shortly now here's is the picture everybody send in ten dollars for this one folks will donate it to char charity but this is the kind of tr paid trade that you like to see trade what you think trade what you see not what you think but look at this there's your move up there's your eight day run okay then your eight days down we're a little about the tenth day right now but all these were were the same as you remember but look at this this is where you are the eight days were here, there, and there is where the eight days were. Here's where we are right now. We've got a market that couldn't take out the high of four days ago. Stopped right at the 78% level. Then it rolled over today and it's coming down. This sets up potential for absolute dead-on lock, lock your horns into the old steer and ride him for a while. It's right on the money. And that is where you want to be watching to buy it. Now, when it gets there... The ideal situation is that it takes this low out, which many people say, oh, if it gets below that level, I'm going to be wrong. Well, this is where the pattern says, yeah, you might be wrong, but by golly, if that turns, just a 382 on that could let you to buy a new Chevy Impala or a Honda Accord or something like that. But anyway, if you're looking at this, this is what you want to be watching, and I'll be following that. I've, since I've been doing this, right now looking at it, I saw a couple things. It just really lit, lit up, so I've got to do a special video for the folks to get them ready because here we are on the 27th, and it's due between now and the uh, 1st of April, April Fool's. I think that's on a Friday, isn't it? No, that uh, comes in on uh, sun, uh, Saturday is April Fool's Day. Anyway, that's, what, that's the day you put all your money on the hurricanes, the Miami hurricanes, to win it all. I'm going to make sure I make a little bet on that today because uh, Sean has been pretty good. And so has Mr. What's his name, um, Norm Winsky. So let's do one other thing since we've got you here. I might as well do it just because we can take a quick look at it. And that is pull it back up again, Larry. Get it there. It is right there. And oh, I have to show you this too, folks. Give me two things. <laughs> this was pretty good here because uh, we're going to be watching it here uh, very, very shortly. And I want to get it up here on the hourly chart to see here, see where we are because then we can really tell us where we're going to be so bear with me here one second here and we'll be oh this is this is great we got the great price here if you if we win on this one folks give some money to charity because this has got everything on it that you absolutely like to see so there's your this is from the 21st coming out here now and we're going to assume that right around the end of the week here we're going to break break the lows at one, at 200 which was the old low Oh, this is uh, – oh, I, 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 can't, I can't show this one, folks, because it's got too much information. I'm just joking. Just a second. Okay, here's where we are when I see these things. That, you know, I've been doing this for so long, and I still get excited. Oh, dear. Anyway, here's where we were. Look at the high today, market coming off dramatically. This is where we want to be looking right here, folks. It, it will literally be at the 127. Or at the 1618. Ideally, it's, it's at the 127. But if it's at the one, this is where you're going to take out all the stops right here. So watch it in this zone here in the next few days. You remember the wheat trade that we talked about a couple of weeks ago before it's rallied 80 cents? This is the same type of pattern. So be patient. It's getting ready to happen. And whether it happens or not, I'm not sure. But at least we got something to work on, and that's it. For just for kicks and giggles, I put in the AI program today for natural gas just to let you take a look at it 
And you can see it did a pretty good job of saying what the natural gas was going to do for the day. And it says it should start to rally here the last part of the day. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but it's done a pretty good job. There was a high here and a high here and a low came in there. So that's that's what you're looking for to see if these things, uh, you know, move in the right direction. So I, I certainly hope you can gain something from that, but we'll keep watching it to see if, in fact, it'll give us something that we can use to uh, to make sure that it's doing the right thing. So that's the main thing. Okay, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Yeah, then you're scheduled for Thursday. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't see it, so that's not a problem, so. Uh, hello, operator. I think I, that was Mike Moore, folks. I think I uh, interrupted the show here to uh, uh, I think we're on the air now, I hope. Let's double check to see if the old show has started. You were on the air. All right. Let's go back and review uh, what happened. Hold on. i got to do one thing right now, and I'll, then I'll be right back with you. Got to got to hit the old cash register once in a while. And yeah, we've got stocks coming in real strong again. Dow Jones up almost 300. All right. Let's go back. And we remember uh, early this or earlier in the show, yet uh, my previous show, we talked about uh, the crude oil and the fact that it was set at such an incredible 
area that if it broke above that level, it was going to be, you know, a very, very strong move. And I wanted to bring that chart up to you to show you that strong move. And I'm having a real difficult time finding it because I just put it in here. Why does it do this to me? Ah, this is it right here. Here's where we are. There's the first one. I got three to show you. Okay, here is the, the crude oil. And when it broke above the trend line, this is something we covered in the uh, in the newsletter. Okay, and you'll look here. You'll see that that's exactly, there was that 135 pattern right here. It said once it broke that. And you see it broke it right in the morning. And then it backed off here for about a dollar. Hit 70.10, came down to 69 and then it took off. And you can see here, without any type of imagination, that if you've got a low here and a high here and a perfect 61% retracement here, okay, look where we are. We're going up. We're making a big A, B, C, D. So all I did to make it interesting was to go and check to see if that A, B, C, D is, in fact, going to be a valid one. And that's what the next chart, next chart will show. This shows it very clearly you know what technical analysis is all about, covered in uh, my book, Trade What You See, and uh, Dr. Andrews Lowe's book, uh, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. And you can see the big A, B, C, D from right here. A, B, C, D up around another $2 a barrel at least to just about the $74, $75 a barrel level. But the thing you got to remember, when a market comes out of point B, like a point C like this one has, has the tendency to expand. And with a big, wide-ranging day-to-day of oil up $3 a barrel, that most probably tells you you're probably going to go uh, a little bit higher than uh, than what you might think. So let's, uh, let's keep that uh, close to our vest, and we'll see if that's working. I hope that shows you how the... How to when you break a trend line like that and the pattern fails, oh boy, uh, you don't want to stand in front of it. And that's where you see some of these, you know, really big monster moves uh, to be watching. So we Dow, have the Dow almost up 300 points. The S&P has turned. It's up on the day. Uh, NASDAQ has turned, turned, but it's still down 50. And so it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how, how much higher we're going to get here. We've got the, uh, the, the yen is a, strong, or a little weaker to the dollar. Uh, the euro has been, you know, setting at one level here. We finally uh, went to that level in the euro, I believe. Let me get my uh, chart up to see if, in fact, that we did do it. But uh, this we have set. We just hit seventy-three dollars a barrel in the oil, folks. Very, very interesting. But the the euro is still not taking it out. It went up and stayed there for well over two hours. And you'll see, I'll get it right here, so you'll be able to take a look at it. Whether that means much or not, don't know. All I know is that the risk here is so doggone small that all you have to do is put about a 25-pip stop on that. And if you're right, just the half of a down day, and this is just three up days, just half of a down day will you know, double, double your risk to reward ratio. So uh, that's what we're paying close attention to. We did hit the exact number of 108, and uh, <laughs> it's really hit 108.01, as I recall here. Very, very interesting. Uh, so anyway, let's move on here and uh, see we got the uh, things are moving quite a bit higher. Well, look at soybeans, folks. They just hit 1421, folks. I have to show you this because this is a, just like the crude oil. Let's look, this is fun. I could do this all day long. Hold on. Let's get this up here to take a look at it. And then we will see it. There's our soybeans right here. Okay, now there we, we bought them right there, folks. That's where we bought the beans. They went against us a little bit, okay? Then it rallied up, made the first 382 retracement, and then today it made the second 382 retracement. And any, anybody with an imagination is going to say there's an A, B, C, D here, up another 45 or 50 cents. And I told the people, <laughs> I promise the God did, I said, please, and I'm just looking at it myself uh, to, to get some information into you. But I said, don't look at the soybeans. I said, just don't put, take them off your machine and don't even look at them. And I said that you'll be tempted to sell and you don't want to sell because there's a possibility because that low we made was so perfect that a 61% retracement, that's the one you want to get. Folks, in December of 1975, that was the pattern that I saw in soybeans. It was in soybean oil. And the spread was by July, sell December. You could put that spread on. It was a $4,000 margin for both of them. Like, no, wait, it was about $1,000 on each side 
So that that if you went long or short, but if you put the spread on, the spread was only $150 margin because you long one, you long July, short December. July was old crop, December was new crop. So for $150, you could be long the beans, okay? And you had a your maximum risk was $150. I mean, what what kind of deal is that? I mean, that, <laughs> that, that's no deal at all. So I started putting those things on, and what happened was uh, they started to move. In the December, I think it was, we put them on in December. They laid there flat for a while, up a, up a little, down a little. You put 150 bucks in, and pretty soon it was worth 300 big deal. And then, you know, 350 400 so around 400 bucks. And uh, on one Friday, uh, just before the market closes, um, long July, short December, and July jumps 30 points, and December drops 30 points. That's 60 points times the, the amount of the money, which uh, uh, $600 per pound. It made $300 on that day with a margin of 150 but we'd already doubled, so it was up around eight or $900. And Reuters came out again, and they said, well, this is a real aberration. This is going to be corrected first thing Monday morning. Well, Monday morning came, and I'm all ready to see the correction, and guess what? They stayed there until the end of the closing day. Boom, up another 30 pips. Tuesday, same thing. Wednesday, same thing. <laughs> that spread went 18 days in a row before it had any correction. And by then you you you're talking serious money. That hundred and fifty bucks was well over three grand and we when we finally got out of it it was even higher uh, when we got out in June of uh, that year. But uh, that's what happened to it. And the market just kept running and running and running. Many times you're thinking of uh, taking profits and, and Oscar and uh, Dave Nelson would tell me, you know, no, no, no. He said, this is the big one. And these guys knew where the anchovies were and all the fundamental stuff that I thought was important. But later on, I realized it wasn't. It was the price of the stock that did it. But that's the one that got me the job at Drexel Burnham, that and Eddie Horowitz, because they wanted to do a commodity department and they wanted somebody that, you know, done some trading and I'd done a lot of that. And so they said, come on in and take a look. And so I did. And that next year, from 80, some 76 to 80 uh, uh, December of, uh, excuse me, January of uh, 82, were the easiest of the years I ever had because I, it was so, I mean, <laughs> I was long gold and silver all the time. So even if I made a bad trade or two, you know, those things went up. But I still have people that I bought cougarans and maple leaves and uh, Mexican pesos. Uh, with that, that they still have them in their safety deposit box, and it's uh, it's a really joyful feeling for me to do that. Hey, we're going to take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, and we'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today.
dfnn.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, I've been asked by Howard over there in Connecticut to take a look at the NASDAQ. And so what I'm going to do now is to bring up the daily chart of the NASDAQ. This is up to date. I just did it just a few minutes ago. And as you can see here, uh, there's where we are on the daily, if you remember the, that level right here. So all I'm going to do now is to go in and bring it to an area that you'll be able to see exactly what's happening today because we did pretty much the same thing. I gotta make sure I get that right one. Ah, this is the one I want, yeah. This, I blew it up so you can see with today's action here, you'll be able to see the same thing. And I think it's important because I watch these ratios uh, quite a bit. So there, there's what you're looking at. And this is just making, remember, we're up about uh, five months now, and we're still setting at the 382, folks. <laughs> to me, that's not, a, that's not a bullish sign. So let's take a look now for Howard. Uh, what the market's been doing over the last five or six days. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in, and we're going to put this chart in so you folks would be able to do this. And there you go. And that's it. Uh, by the way, a line just opened up if someone calls in. You can see here, this is the NASDAQ. We made this big spike high. Now, you notice here, we, we stopped up here today. We broke down. Still didn't take out the low. We stopped at the 786, and we're... We're, we're rallying back to the 382 level here with several hours to go, which means we're probably going to get uh, a little bit higher here, maybe even blow it out to the upside. That's also a possibility. So uh, this is just a pattern, and when these patterns fail, and when these patterns fail, you got to stand aside, and that's the main thing that you want to remember. Okay, now that covers pretty much the NASDAQ. Let's move on here. I want to get back to the natural gas because I'm, I'm going to have to do some work on this, and I might as well do it on the air here so that we can see this stuff happening. So bear with me one second so I get this natural gas contract here one more time, and I want to uh, I'll go through it again on a little bit uh, uh, slower pace to see where we are. So let's get it up here. And hold on, we'll go to the uh, daily. Okay, now we just started to rally. If you remember, we were forecasting a possibility of a rally. And as you can see here from the chart that I'm going to post right now, you'll see that that rally has already started. And there it is right there. So the first thing I need to do now is with this rally starting this way, that's going to tell me how much do I have to go up here to see, because I want it to get down. You see, this is just nothing more than a short covering rally that's happening in natural gas. As a matter of fact, the easiest way to do that, we'll get back to the, the contract itself, and we'll just put a 15-minute up here, and you'll see it's going to be, oh, this is going to be, it's actually doing a, lot, a little bit better than I thought. But uh, we are backing, uh, we're already back in just a matter of, a, we only ran five points, but you can see here, this is the, uh, the, well, you can see Sunday and everything else, so I'll put it up here, that uh, this is just going to be uh, another way of measuring the swing, you know, to the downside. So you can see this is where we stopped right here, and we rallied past the 382. In fact, we're almost up to the 61% retracement already. 
And maybe this is a major bottom. I don't know, but I'm going to be watching it. If we get above this level right here, there's a pretty good chance that it could be um, what happened just yesterday or a few days ago, actually eight days ago, could be a major bottom. So you, if that happens, the only thing you can do is do like what we did in hogs, what we did in soybeans, and what we did in uh, the uh, hogs, soybeans, and gold and silver. You will always wait for that 382 retracement, and that's the one that will lead you to the promised land. And then soon, as soon as you get a big lead, you know, you just either – uh, you don't want it if you think this is a major bottom and we're only the second day up you got to give it a little room folks that's the thing because you don't catch these very often and that's the that's the real key you know to be uh, watching as you're going through looking at these because that's the important part well, we've got two hours to go in the market so most probably we're going to close close really really strong today and we're right near the highs now in the Dow Jones we're up 300 points and we are up uh, only down 38 now in the NASDAQ. It's coming back up 29, 30 points in the Russell, 23 in the S&P. Uh, bonds are down about uh, two-thirds of a point. And uh, we've got silver and gold, or silver's down 20 cents and gold's down uh, $27. So uh, got some real interesting markets here to pay attention to. But we're over a really key time, and that's a cycle that uh, Shane Smolian works on. So we're going to find out if that is in fact going to be, it's going to be the case. So that's the main thing. And that, what else I want to mention here, uh, natural gas, I got to get working on that because let me just do this right here. And that might give us, yes, it would. Let's go to the hourly chart and it'll really help us to tell us where we want to go because, oh, this would be really great if it would just do this. I'm going to bring in the bring in the pattern folks to show you what could possibly happen and that's what these patterns will do they are predictive within limits if you remember so give me a second and i'll draw it in and then you'll be able to see the whole thing together and that's it right here okay now all right i have to bring this up and show you the next thing that i want to see uh and that is what is going to happen next and so as I look at this right now, as we're trading, we've had a pretty good bottom in here. I'll bet you that was exactly 61%. And that'll be telling us that on the next one. I'll bring it up to show you where you are, because if that's the case, we know exactly what to do. And we will just wait and see. And look, it was just a little bit beyond the 618, uh, right at the, uh, right at the uh, what do you call the uh, six, um, 786. 78% level. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to spread this out so we can see the bigger ABCD and where we can be going to. Okay, that's the, the real key. And that tells us that we're going to probably be making a low here in the next two days. And that low is going to be a butterfly pattern. And that's the one you want to be buying. Remember that long term one that we looked at? This is a short term version of that. What you'd like to see is the market fail from here and then start moving uh, to the downside near the 20 or the 30th or 31st, 30th, 29th or 30th. That's, uh, what is it, 29th? It's, yeah, yeah, the 30th, 30th and 31st. Anytime between Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday is what you want to be looking for for a bottom in natural gas. Now, if we take out today's high, then that bet is off. But uh, until that happens, until that happens, that's going to be the one that you need to pay you know, very, very close attention to, very, very close attention to, just uh, extremely important to do that. So let's do that. Now, I wanted to bring one other thing up today, and that is in the hog market, because we just had uh, this. Oh, this is such a guys. I just don't understand why people are not interested in some of this stuff. This stuff is so <sighs> shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's take a quick look here at the, the lean hogs you don't have to know much about reports or anything like that if you'll see here there's the action over the last few days there was your 382 retracement there was your first one there was your second one now we got to get ready for the other one because what's happened now you look at this closely look there's a b c d perfect count the bars up count the bars up perfection we're going to look at that when we get back 877 927-6648 Billy Ray Valentine selling natural gas
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're wrapping up. I wanted to remind everybody this is the eighth trading day in a row that we've been up. In the stock market and the odds favor uh, at least a three-day correction coming in here now remember it's odds favor it doesn't mean perfection so that's the main thing uh, to keep in mind we're looking at something that could be you know very very interesting here from a long-term perspective but you know we're setting right up here to this Fibonacci number in the S&P there at uh, 4030 and uh, we're almost there again we were there earlier this morning we might even close a uh, a little bit higher than that, which would also be uh, unusual. I did post a chart of the NASDAQ. It had been the leader, if you'll remember. That's the one that took us off the bottom. And now it's actually backing off a little bit, telling you that, uh-oh, maybe it doesn't look nearly as good as it possibly does. It always looks the worst, folks, right before it takes off. If you'll remember here, just a few weeks ago, well, just a few weeks ago, how about just a few days ago, this is where we were. I'm going to get this up here to show you we were looking for larger prices at that time. There's where you are, okay? Uh, we came down to our level right here, came a little bit lower, and then hit this line, this downtrend line, which is drawing perfectly with beautiful symmetrical cycles. Everything there that you can see, the good symmetry, and a nice little valid trend line, and then away it goes to the upside. Folks, the way I traded back in the seven, early 70s was to break. In other words, if the bottom came in right here, as soon as a market like this went above that little correction area, 
I bought everything in sight. I started buying wheat, corn, soybeans. The, fa the farmers that uh, were behind it, I was all also rooting for them. And what we were doing is many of these guys were getting get money, government money. This was in uh, 75, in 70, early 76, and uh, they were getting paid in gold because the government had ex excess gold at that time, and gold was only trading for like under 200 bucks. It was not a big deal. 877-9268. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, and may God bless.